Hey folks, Spice Freak here, along with my buddy Expat. Hello! And today we have Manda's chilli sauce. A rather pure African style red habanero one. But we won't just be trying it on its own. We're also going to be mixing it with some of this. A finger lime. So, let's get a quick look at the finger lime. You'll see it's not very big, it's maybe the size of my thumb, most. And, honestly, probably not worth the price I paid for it, just on that grounds. But at the same time, hopefully, it'll be everything else that it was advertised to be. So if we cut this open, some of the juice escapes, sadly, but if you look at that, it looks very lime-like. You can see, yeah, it looks like a lime inside, but you can also kind of see that the segments are a bit more pronounced. Those tiny little juicy things oh, yeah, are a little true. firmer and actually like caviar, almost. Ooh. Which is what gives this its nickname of the caviar lime. Just try one of them now, see what you make of it. I definitely think it's as it was described. It's sort of lime meets grapefruit flavour. Yeah, exactly. So, very, very, very strong. It's not just something to take more. Back in a moment. So, a couple of skull shot glasses. Chug a bit in both. I should give this a shake first in case. Don't want to just get the juice on top. Yeah. Come on. You can do it, sauce. Do you want to bring the milk up? Yes, if you get your milk at the ready. Because there's a decent chance we'll want a little bit. Yeah, from with that amount of... Well, we're not just going to shot this, but... I may want to shot it, actually. <laughs> get it down quicker. Well, that's up to you. So, first of all, give that a bit of a smell. Very, I'm definitely getting a very citrusy. Perhaps mm, I'm thinking it. Well, there's definitely sort of an acidic fruitiness to it. Mm. It's not quite this sort of blood orangey one of the scorpion, but there's something of that nature. Mm. The habanero clearly, the red yeah. habanero clearly shares some elements. Mm. It does. It does smell of every single habanero. Yeah, every single habanero is also. So also, to me, you got a little bit of sort of almost funkiness to it, mm. which I'm not particularly keen on. Didn't have that in earlier batches of the Manders, so I don't know totally why that is, but... Eh. If I stick my finger in... I'm going to use my pinky because I don't want to get my main finger um, that I use for cutting and cutting my contact lenses. Oh yeah. Uh, don't want to do that again. Don't ask. Long story. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it. Ish. <coughs> it's the back of the throat, but then yeah. it, it doesn't last long. No. It's got a good sort of stinging habanero type heat. It's a nice 4 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I'd say comfortably that. It's not crazy hot, but it is the extra that it says on the bottle. So, grab your half a finger line and squeeze it in. Oh, squeezy. Oh, there, it's coming in an old mass. Hopefully you can keep from bursting most of the bubbles, so we can get a real idea of what this brings to the sauce. Anyway, these are a late autumn fruiting fruit, but in Australia, so they normally fruit about May kind of time. I don't know how we've managed to get them now, but I'll leave a link to where I bought them in the description anyway. But as said, they were a bit expensive for the size they are, so unless they're absolutely fantastic in here, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Apparently they're absolutely gorgeous on sushi, okay. or just if you want I can even equivalent of caviar. I can imagine they'd be quite a good condiment with sushi. Yeah, but let's see how they go mixed into a condiment. This is, the idea here, basically is following on from the uh, broomsticks video I did with the cloves, just to get sort of bursts of flavour into an otherwise quite different tasting sauce. So, you ready? Make sure you get some of the bits in there. Oh, Definitely got some in mine. Should go a little bit of mine. Yeah, I've got some. 
Three, two, one. Mm. It's quite nice. Mm. I don't think it is quite as distinct as I would have hoped, but the texture's pleasant. Mm. And it definitely brightens up this sauce, removes that sort of weird mm. funk from it, mm. and just genuinely, generally, fits in really nicely. I feel the same about that. So, finger lime, great flavour, but the bits aren't as obviously dotted throughout as I would have hoped. So it's not going to make a sauce with sort of bursts of flavour, it's just going to flavour the whole thing throughout and be pleasant. Mm. So I'd say, were these available at a sensible price, they'd go great into a sauce, just to liven it up with that sort of grapefruity, limey citrus, but they're not nearly as special as I'd hoped. I do like the texture it introduces though. Yeah. So it gives it kind of a little bit of a crunchy, mass-like feeling, which I quite mm. like. Yeah. It's a fun experiment. Mm. I'd say it's rather more successful than the last one. <coughs> <coughs> so you don't need to see us eat all of this. Mm. Um, we'll be back around the video soon. Yeah. In the meantime, like this one if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below if you feel like it, or if you have anything you want to ask about this, or if you just want to say hi. Mm -hmm. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more, and next time we'll probably be in a lot more pain than we have been here. Yeah. Bye. Bye.